My name is Miranda. My name is Miranda. My name is Miranda. My name is Miranda. Yeah. No, I haven't gone completely crazy. This is a warm up activity that you can introduce in your very first lessons with new students in your group. And it's a, a, an activity that will help students not only get to know each other a little bit, but also get to know their names. They'll also start speaking a little bit in English and overcoming their, their shyness about speaking English, but in a group setting, which helps. And it's a concentration game. So they're going to be learning and repeating a rhythm, which isn't as simple as it may seem. <laughs> and I will give you an example <laughs> of that right now. Now, in this activity, there are two parts. There is a more simple part to the first part, which we'll do first of all. And then it gets a little bit more advanced. And I'll show you that after, if we get the first part right. Let's see how the first part goes, first of all. So first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to group your students in a big circle, all sitting down on the floor with their legs crossed. And you're going to introduce the rhythm just by presenting it. Tap, tap on the knees, clap of the hands. Tap, tap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, clap, clap. You'll have to repeat it a few times because you'll find that children will start doing this. <laughs> yeah, it's normal, it's natural. I do it the same as well. Oh, hang on a minute. So slowly, go slowly. So everybody simultaneously is doing it with you. Then you're going to introduce your name with the rhythm. So you'll say, my name is Miranda. My name is Miranda. You're going to get everybody to join in with you, yes? My name is Miranda. My name is Miranda. So when they have got that, <laughs> then you are going to ask the child sitting next to you to do the same. So after you have introduced your name, the child next to you, Tapping out the same rhythm introduces his or her name. So it will go like this. My name is Miranda. My name is Paul. Yeah, so he is introducing his name with the same rhythm. After he introduces his name, the child next to him will do the same without missing a beat. Yeah, so this is why it's important to go slowly. So I'll give you another example. We start off with my name. My name is Miranda. My name is Paul. My name is Sarah. My name is Susie. Okay, so you're going around the circle. Each child is introducing their name together with the beat. Yes, if they, if they miss a beat or something, it doesn't matter. Just make them repeat, yes, and, we, and go slower. If you find that they're not keeping up with the rhythm and missing the beat, just go slower. My name is Sarah. My name is Paul. Yes, so you're going to go around the circle until it comes back to you. Everybody introducing their name. The second time that you go around, <laughs> This is where the fun starts. Is you're going to go faster? Yes. So my name is Miranda. My name is Paul. My name is Sarah. My name is Susie. They're going to go round again, and then you can go round again. You can go really fast, fast, fast. So my name is Miranda. My name is Paul. My name is Sarah. My name is Susie. And you go around. Okay, so it might take a few times. Don't immediately go fast. See how they um, cope with the rhythm and their names, and if they're they're having fun with it, and then get um, slowly get faster and faster and faster. And that's a great way for them to um, not only start speaking in English, but also the main part of this activity is for them to get to know each other's names. That's the first part. Now, the second part is a little bit more complicated because you're going to, in the second part, introduce your name. I'm Miranda. And then you're going to call out a name in the group. So I'm going to say, I'm Miranda. 
Hello, Sarah. <laughs> this is where memory comes into the game. Yes, the children have to try and think. Oh, who was her name? And who was his name? And, and they have to remember the names of the other children in the group. So again, I'm going to introduce. I'm going to say I'm. So it's not my name is anymore. It's just going to be I'm. I'm Miranda. Hello, Sarah. Sarah then says. I'm Sarah. Hello, Tommy. Oh, Tommy over here. Here's his name, and he says, "Oh." He wakes up and he says, "Oh, I'm Tommy. Hello, Johnny." Yes, Johnny over here. His his here's his name, and he says, "I'm Johnny. Hello, Penelope. Penelope. I'm Penelope. Hello, Mario." I'm Mario. Hello, and then somebody else. Okay, so they have. It's a. It's a great listening and concentration activity because they have to listen out for their own name and then think who's who else in the group they can their name that they can remember. So it's a great concentration, great listening game. And I would start always with the simple version first of all, and then. If you see that the children are, are, are quite familiar with the names in the group, then go on to the second version. If you see that they still don't know each other's names that well, just do the first version, go faster and faster and faster, and then maybe the week after, come back to the second version,、uh, the second part of the game, the more complicated game. Then, if you want to do instead of the clapping, you can do the clicking. But I think. So, for example, I would say, "I'm Miranda. Hello, Susie. I'm Susie. Hello, Mario." <laughs> Even more complicated, but just let's keep it simple. I would just keep it simple. From my experience with children, I just think that the clapping is fine to start with. They just getting hold of the rhythm, the names, remembering the names, the English. It's enough. Just keep it super, super simple, and that will work best of all. So, <laughs> start with a simple version, and then go on to the second part when the children start remembering each other's names. Hope you like this game. Try it out with your kids, and until next time, remember: be theatrical.